Jason, they were able to get up a lot of threes in this one, and that was their game plan coming in. How, how do you feel like you guys guarded those, and what was the mindset against those? How much do you have to adjust when they are hitting at that rate? Yeah, you got to give them credit. They they shot more threes, and they, they really shot the ball well tonight. Um, for the most part, you know, our effort, you know, it wasn't like we weren't playing hard or connected. There were some some missed opportunities, I would say, um, that we wish we could have back. Some some open looks, some transition threes that were just they were just too comfortable. Uh, but you know, Tebby had off to him. They they hit some shots tonight. What stood out about you guys on offense and some of the woes you went through in this one? And you know, what could you have done better on that end? You feel like? Yeah, I feel like uh, a few of the possessions we we didn't get into our actions fast enough. Uh, missed a lot of bunnies. Um, a lot of open threes, and uh, we weren't getting out in transition enough because we didn't get enough stops, obviously, because they were hitting shots. Jason, how do you look at this moment in the series, the tie to game and peace going to, to Miami? Do you see your team facing some adversity at this point? Is this just kind of how series go? How do you evaluate it? Uh, I mean, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. That's a lot of history between these two franchises, especially recently. Uh, regardless of seeding or who's in or who's out. Uh, it's the playoffs, and especially with that team, you know, it's never going to go how people expect it to go. Um, that's the beauty of being in the playoffs and playing at the highest level. Uh, it's part of it. You know, we lost the game, and we got a chance to to play again on Saturday. So, uh should be another fun one. Do you feel like you gave them some life tonight and that they were you know, undermanned here on the road and did they maybe get a little life coming out of this game? Uh, I, I wouldn't phrase it like that. They're, that's a good team, right? Uh, you know, they kind of like us. They don't, it's not supposed to be easy. Uh, it's not an easy road to where both teams are trying to get, trying to, get to. Uh, some tough competitive basketball, and uh, you know we knew that they were going to respond and play better from the first game, and they did. Um, last year, between last year and this year, they now have four games against you guys where they shot better than fifty percent from three, which is kind of weird. Uh, what is it about this matchup that allows them to just? get so hot with a bunch of guys who aren't normally uh, that kind of three-point shooting threat? Uh, it's a great question. Uh, maybe a coincidence, maybe it's not. Uh, something we got to figure out, honestly. Uh, you know, they hit some tough shots tonight from the three-point line, and, you know, some were, were open. And it's, uh, you know, maybe some of those easier ones early in the game got them feeling more comfortable. And sometimes those tougher shots become a little bit easier when you're already in the rhythm. Um, there's something that we're going to talk about. Um, Brad's been pretty open about um, how last year's series was a big part of what compelled him to bring KP in here. Um, what were the challenges in kind of finding him tonight? It looked like um, the way they were defending him was a little unique. And in terms of getting him the ball, and then what, what did you say about the way they're guarding him once he did that made things a little tougher for him? Yeah, we just got to do a better job of getting him the ball in the right spots um, and making sure that we give him enough space to to operate and, uh, you know, be in that threat that, you know, he's he's been for us all season. And, uh, you know, we're going to do that Saturday. In the second, they hit 13 threes in the first half. In the second half, did you try to – adjust or do you, I mean, some of their non shooters were hit. Do you have to react to that during the game? Do you just have to hope they miss? I mean, what happens when guys who don't usually hit threes hit threes and it becomes kind of a barrage? Yeah, I mean, when you go through a game plan, it's impossible to say we're going to take away every single thing. Uh, there are certain guys on the floor that you would rather shoot than others. You know, that's any NBA game you don't play. But guys in the NBA for a reason. Uh, Everybody's capable. There's a lot of capable shooters out there. Um, you know, anybody can get hot. And then second off, going back to the KP stuff, 
usually throughout the year, you guys were able to enter the ball to him, pretty much play through him pretty comfortably. Tonight, they were doing all sorts of things to really affect that catch and push him out. When you see like a defense that understands how to take away that thing is kind of like a comfort zone for you guys, how do you want to respond to that? Yeah, I think we got to be more creative. Um, you know, it's, the playoffs are about making adjustments from game to game, and they did that. Um, and, you know, it's not, they're not just going to let us catch the ball. They're not just going to let us throw it to, you know, KP easy. And, uh, you know, they posted to try to mess things up or, or, or make us think or make it a little bit tougher. And so it's our job to react in real time and, you know, as well as um, make our adjustments going from game to game.